Hello and welcome amigos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make poblano rice. It is arroz verde. It's a popular dish for Mexican culture and if you've never had it you're really going to enjoy it. It's super simple. It's not spicy like you would think and it's great to combine with a variety of chicken dishes. So if you're interested in this rice, come join me for some cooking time. <laughs> So we're gonna to continue to roast our chiles on both sides until they're both nice and charred, okay? And for those of you that don't have a gas burner, don't worry, you can get a pan, put your peppers on it, and then just turn it as it starts to uh, char on the outsides. Sometimes if you rub a little bit of oil on the outsides when you have it on your pan, you probably get a better uh, char to it and make it comfortable for your home. You can still make this recipe. Once you've roasted your peppers completely, you can put them in a paper bag, in your bag, or wrap it with some cloth so that they can steam. But today, I'm placing them in a Tupperware and I'm gonna put a lid on them for about four minutes and then I'm gonna begin to peel them, okay? You guys don't need to see that, it's, it's, a, it's a mess. It's annoying, you don't wanna see that. So when you guys see these little peppers, they're gonna be nice and finely chopped. I've peeled and chopped my chiles and I've added one fourth of water just so that it's easier to blend, okay? So we're just gonna blend until it's completely smooth or as smooth as your blender will allow. So once you have it nice and smooth, then we're ready to get started on our rice. To your medium hot pan, you're gonna add one to two tablespoons of oil, whatever you feel comfortable with, and you're gonna add your rice. We're gonna mix all of our rice with our oil just so it coats it nicely and we're gonna continue to cook it on a medium heat until we get to that little golden uh, color. I'll show you guys in just a moment. So we're gonna go from this to a very deeper and darker white color instead of the clear. After four minutes, you're gonna see that most of the translucent ones are turning into a darker and deeper white and you're gonna get some of them that are a little bit golden, okay? So let's go ahead and make a little well in the middle. We're gonna add our onions and our garlic and we're just gonna saute them for about 30 seconds or so. I know a lot of you don't like onions, it's okay. You can keep them out, but if you can handle onion powder, add a little onion powder to the blend, okay? After 30 seconds or so, you're gonna add your chicken broth. If you don't have fresh chicken broth, I'm gonna give you another option in the description area, which is just warm water with some chicken bouillon. Once you've added your chicken broth, you're gonna add your blended poblanos. Once you've mixed your blended chili in there, you're gonna add your chicken bouillon. And I love having a really strong like chicken flavor to this one. It balances out those peppers so wonderfully. Me too. It's comforting. Mm -hmm. Next, if you like corn, you can add your corn. And now I'm gonna go ahead and place my rice on a low temperature and I'm gonna allow it to continue to cook. Make sure to look in the directions for the rice that you're using at home and I'll let you guys know what I did in the description box. Our rice is ready, nice and fluffy. Now I'm gonna serve it so that we can get a delicious taste. As always, Views Club and Bells, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We love that you joined us today and sorry about yesterday's Taco Tuesday. You guys, we are having technical difficulties, but we love you and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, adios. This is so fluffy that I'm gonna make a mess as soon as I stick the spoon in there, but hey, let's have a little, fun, little bit of fun, right? This is a meal in itself. You make some amazing fluffy rice. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> After years of hard work, I can get it done. You guys want to taste? 
Open wide. Y se comen todo el arroz. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just being bossy mommy. I want you guys to be filled with love and kindness and of course delicious food. And honestly, if you guys knew how hard I worked for you yesterday, you would have been like, Steph, you should have quit. You should have waited for the next day. But no, I'm a woman of my word. So you guys got that video a little bit late, but I hope you liked it. It's a really good recipe. Those tacos are amazing. Mm -hmm. Honestly, my whole family loved them. So I'm gonna be making them again. I hate talking with my mouth full, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.